Today, I'll be sharing a beginner-friendly hands-on project that you can build in GCP. Hi, I'm Rishabh. This is Rishabh in Cloud. And if you're new to the channel, I share my cloud and DevOps knowledge through videos and projects. So the project that I have today is the Cloud Resume API Challenge, and we'll be exploring how to do it in GCP. So to get started, go to cloudresumeapi.dev and a huge shout out to Forrest who built the Cloud Resume Challenge, which I am a huge fan of. And this is kind of inspired from the Cloud Resume Challenge, but it's more beginner friendly. If you go to cloudresumeapi.dev, you can see the challenge is available in AWS, Azure, and GCP. So I'll be covering GCP in this video. And if you look at the challenge itself, you know, you'll be building a resume API using certain cloud services. So the objective is that if someone does a GET request to your API endpoint, they'll receive a JSON data with your resume details in it. So as you can see in the challenge objective, your task is to create a cloud function that fetches resume data stored in Firestore and return it in JSON format. To level up the challenge, integrate GitHub Actions to automatically deploy updates to your cloud function whenever you push changes to your Git repository. So the key requirements are Firestore table, Google Cloud function, and GitHub Actions. So Firestore table is where you'll have your resume data. Google Cloud Function is what will fetch the data from the Firestore and give it to the user, and GitHub Actions is responsible for CI CD. So how to get started? You'll have to set up a GCP account. So create a GCP account. You'll have to create an organization, and then within that organization, you'll need a project. After you have done that, you'll also need your resume in JSON format, and you can use, there's a link, but it's basically jsonresume.org slash schema. You can generate um, your resume.json here and just edit the details with your personal information. Once you have done that, you'll need to create GCP resources, which is the Firestore and Google Cloud function. And then you'll also have to create a GitHub Action workflow, which will be responsible for CI CD, also known as continuous integration and continuous deployment. There's also submissions, so you can submit a pull request to the repository here, and your project will be highlighted in this submissions page. But I'll show you what I have created on my end. So if I go to my Google Cloud account and I'm in the Firestore, you can see I have a default database here. Within that database, uh, I do have the resumes collection, and I have one document which has basically my JSON resume data, right? Pretty straightforward. And if I go to Google or Cloud Functions, so in my Cloud Functions, you can see that I have the Cloud Resume API, right? And if I look at the source, it's basically Python code, right, that retrieves resume data from Firestore. So if you had to look at the GitHub repo that I have set up, you can see this is the cloud function itself. So I'm using um, JSONify from Flask, and I'm also importing Firestore, um, which allows us to connect our Google Cloud function to the Firestore. And I'm basically getting the resume data here from my collection called resumes. And then we are returning that as JSON with a status code of 200. So if I look at the readme, I also have kind of an architecture diagram. So basically, the user will come in and do an API call to get my resume. And you can see that there is Cloud Functions and Firestore. So all the API requests are to the Cloud Function URL. Cloud Function URL then goes, gets the resume data from Firestore, and then responds back to the user. To take it a step further, what I have done is I've also added Terraform for infrastructure as code. So Terraform is how I have deployed my Cloud Resume API in GCP. So if you look at the main.tf, you can see that, first of all, I'm creating a zip uh, under my functions directory. So under my function, you can see I have main.py and requirements.txt. And in order to upload this with Terraform, I create a zip, 
right? And then I upload that zip to a cloud storage bucket. So that is what is happening here is I'm creating a cloud storage bucket and then uploading the zip file to cloud storage bucket. Down, you can see that I do have the Google Cloud function itself. So there are a few properties within the function. So you have to specify the runtime, the name, and the entry point. After I've done that, you can see here is how I select the source archive object, which I am pointing to the Google Cloud Storage bucket. And then we also have some other settings. So max instances is 10, available memory is 128, and the timeout is 3. The trigger HTTP is set to true because that's what allows us to make those HTTP GET requests. And I've also added um, a role here, which allows the function to be executed globally by or publicly by all the users. So if I go back, look at my function URL, which is right here, open it in a new tab, we'll see that it gives us back the JSON data for my resume. The other thing I can do is do a curl request in my terminal here. So you can see that within my terminal, I get back the JSON data for my resume. So that is basically the Cloud Resume API challenge in GCP. I hope you take this challenge to get more hands-on experience. If you're specifically, if you're a beginner in Cloud and GCP is what you're learning, and I also would like to see some innovation like I did with you know, Terraform. Maybe you use the deployment manager to deploy your infrastructure or maybe Pulumi. So you can kind of figure out what IAC tool you want to use. And I'm looking forward to the submissions that some of the community members will make for the GCP version. But yeah, I hope this project helps you with your learning journey and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.